today's video, we are going to take a look at some products that I used in 2023 that you should take a look at using in 2024. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and instead of fishing today, we're gonna take a look at some products that I tried out all of last season, and I really, really enjoy, and I think you would too. So, we're just gonna jump right into it. The first one we're gonna take a look at is braid. Um, braid is king in musky fishing. I mean, very rarely does anybody use mono anymore, maybe if you're trolling, but uh, braid lines, are all the rage and have been for quite some time. There are a lot out there. There's Power Pro, there's Suffix, and it seems like everybody has their brand. It's almost like trucks. You know, you've got your Chevy guys, your Dodge guys, your Ford guys, and you know, they have their brand and everything else is trash and junk and, and whatever. And there's probably reasons for that. If you've had break offs, that sort of thing. Personally, I've always just used whatever I could get my hands on, whether it be Suffix A32 or Power Pro or Master Braid, Cortland. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, I had an opportunity to try out this Finns Braid, and I'm sure you've seen it all over social media last year. And so I even saw some people like, oh, I'm getting sick of seeing all this Finn stuff. Well, there's a reason for it. They are an American based company. They've been making braid for other companies. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, they made Power Pro for a while before it got taken overseas, and it's probably when Power Pro was actually really good. And uh, they've always made line for other people, and they've decided to start making their own. And this stuff is amazing. There's all sorts of different kinds. I'll leave a link so you can check out their website. And they've got from anywhere crappie fishing all the way up to saltwater fishing. They're very big down south, Texas, the Gulf Coast and they wanted to break into a lot more of the freshwater stuff and what better way to do that than to have musky fishermen take it and test it on one of the toughest freshwater fish in North America. So uh, yeah, I was using the fins. This is the Big Game XS 80 pound and then the fins 40G in 100 pound. I was using this on my Tranks 400 and this on the Tranks 500. So this was what I was using for big rubber, big bucktails, and I have to say, it's amazing. The strength to diameter ratio on both these lines is unreal. The 100 pound, I could put tons of it on a 500. I had to use all sorts of backing, and I still got, I think, 150 yards, which is plenty. Uh, same with the 80 pound on the 400. Uh, yeah, I had to use backing because you can just fit so much of this stuff on a 400. The big game 80 pound uh, I was using with a assault stick 2020 surgical strike most of the time. So smaller bucktails, little glide baits, top waters, that sort of thing. And it's honestly, I can say, the first line that I've ever said to myself, this cast better. I always thought it was silly when people said that, but I took it out the first time and made a cast and in the first time in my life, I thought, this line casts really nice. <laughs> so, uh, for what it's worth, guys, I, I didn't want to pump this stuff too hard until I had a full season. I, I definitely talked about it last year that I was using it. But from here on out, I'm a Finns guy. This stuff is amazing. You should check it out. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about, sunglasses. These H3 polarized are amazing. Now, I always wore Costa Del Mar's, the 580G uh, glass in the green mirror were my favorites. So, I was definitely hesitant moving to a different set of glasses, uh, but what really got me are these polar clear lenses. They look darker than when you're looking at them like this, they look darker than when you're looking out of them. They're practically clear and they are polarized so that last 30 minutes of the day when you're going eh, I don't know which one's better this is better these are amazing for that on top of that there are three other lenses that these glasses come with uh, they're sort of an a bright amber lens a gray lens and then my favorite is the hot copper which 
quite honestly, when you put it side by side with that green mirror from the Costas, it was hardly any of a transition for me, quite honestly, because they look so similar. And then being able to very easily pop out the lenses and replace them, it honestly takes no time at all. You know, you get some fingerprints on it, you wipe them off, boom, you're ready to go. And these polar clear lenses are amazing. I will leave a link for H3O Polarized down below. You can read a little bit more about what the lenses are made of. I believe they're polyamide lenses. That was the other thing I noticed uh, as opposed to the Costas that I wear. These are super, super light and barely know they're there. Uh, I'm using the, come on, there we go. It focused on it. The vapor frames, uh, coverage on the eyes, keeps all the light out. Uh, absolutely perfect. I love these things. So like I said, check out the stuff below about H3O Polarized and uh, maybe consider checking a pair out this year. All right, well, moving into baits that I was using last year and really was impressed with, one of them was from Rusty's Custom. In fact, not one of them, two of them were from Rusty's Custom Lures. Um, these little glide baits, this is the six inch six sucker and this is the seven inch fortune teller. These things were awesome. My favorite part is that little dangly blade because I mean, I, I'd always fish with two types of glide baits. You had your glide baits that were just basically a block of wood with two hooks. You've got the ones with the curly tail on the back, which I always enjoy throwing those because at least it gave it a little bit of life. But these little blades, folks, when you let it just hang there and it's slowly falling, that little blade is still turning. These things look amazing. I didn't use them a ton in the summer, but in the spring, this little guy was amazing in Iowa. I caught quite a few fish. And late fall into winter, I caught so many muskies in December in southern Wisconsin on this guy right here. Um, you know, was it the blade on the back? I don't know. I liked it though, so <laughs> that meant that I was really paying attention to the bait and really having fun fishing it, so uh, I think that confidence part of it is, is so much of what makes a bait effective. Uh, but yeah, these guys are so cool, and, and Rusty has so many other baits and uh, just didn't have time to use them. The Counter Punch is a spy bait. That's a really cool one that I'm looking forward to using this year again. And uh, you should just check them out on Facebook, Rusty's Custom Lures. If you're going to be going to the Wisconsin Muskie Expo in Wausau in the middle of March, I know that he's gonna have a booth there. So if you'd like to check them out in person, touch them, feel them, talk to the bait manufacturer himself, he is going to be there. And uh, yeah, these are just another tool in the toolbox to catch these silly fish. So, Rusty's Custom Lures guys, check them out. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about a couple of products from Chaos Tackle, and they're all attached at once here. This part, the A-Rig component here, is the hat trick uh, developed by Chris Willen. Uh, Chaos is making them. You can get them with these little uh, swim baits, or you can just have blades, and then put whatever bait you want on it, the 8-inch Poseidon is pretty awesome. And that's the other bait I wanted to talk about from Chaos Tackle is that little 8-inch Poseidon. I ended up with one midway through the year last year and didn't have a lot of chances to fish it the way I wanted to. I wanted it for more of a spring bait, so I'm looking forward to using that this year in Iowa, Indiana, southern Wisconsin. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this little 8-inch guy the 10s and the 12s have been catching fish for years, so uh, I think it was long overdue that we got an 8-inch Poseidon. And uh, yeah, th this this guy on big water, St. Clair, Eagle Lake, you know, you guys on Lake of the Woods, even some of the lakes here in southern Wisconsin, uh, the deep clear lakes with Cisco's, Geneva, that sort of thing. I'm really excited to throw something like this and uh, see what it can do. So that's what I got from the boys at Chaos Tackle. Last but not least, a little bit of shameless self-promotion. I got hoodies, so those are those were something new in 2023 that I'm going to continue to be using in 2024. Uh, really high quality hoodies, and uh, I didn't want to skimp. I wanted something that I was going to wear, not just something that had angling anarchy that I could sell a bunch of at a cheap price. Uh, so they're they're not cheap. They're 60 bucks, but. Uh, 
really heavy. I was using them a lot winter fishing, fall fishing. Uh, the design on the front is like this nice applique stuff. So yeah, that too. So check those out. Uh, you can email me anglinganarchy at gmail.com if you'd like to snag one of these guys. All right, folks, that's enough of that. Uh, we'll get back to fishing on the next video, but I just wanted to take a little time and take care of the people that are taking care of me. Uh, quite honestly, I'm not really getting paid for any of this. Um, I got a free set of shades from H3O to, to try them out. Um, fins, I got a little bit of line, but this is just stuff that I truly believe in and I use all the time and I'm not just using it because somebody's shuffling a check my way. So. I think it's important to know that and with that I hope to see you all in Milwaukee still uh, Pennsylvania Muskie Max at the beginning of March and middle March I'll be at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo hanging out with the fellas in the chaos tackle booth uh, and if I'm not there that just means I'm wandering around talking to whoever's there and uh, having a good time so I hope to see you all there thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you on the next video